My name is Richard. I work as a civil engineer. A uh, typical day for me um, involves quite a bit of reading, um, codes and regulations. Um, uh, project manager for uh, a couple different projects, which mainly means uh, doing a little research and getting information from clients, um, find out what their needs are. Um, this is all as it pertains to civil engineering. Uh, civil engineering, we, we do grading, drainage, um, utility work, um, some structural work. Um, a lot of the things that you consider infrastructure, your roads, uh, things like that, are done by civil engineers. Uh, I'm the discipline lead, which means that I manage the civil engineering department. So uh, my work encompasses a little bit of, of all of that. Um, my job, we, I work probably 50 hours a week on the average. Um, it can be stressful at times, but um, it's probably no more stressful than any other job that, that uh, you would take seriously. Uh, a PE is a professional engineer, which basically means that you're licensed. You, um, and to become a, a licensed engineer, you go to school for four to five years. Not many people graduate from engineering school um, in less than five. It's pretty rare. You'll go to school for about five years, you'll graduate, you'll work as an intern for four years. Um, then, uh, I'm sorry, you'll actually you'll take a, an EIT exam. Usually you'll do that your senior year. Uh, you'll take your EIT exam, you become an intern, you'll work for four years. Uh, then you're eligible to take the PE exam. Uh, some people take it several times. Um, I'd say probably two or three times is probably the average a uh, number of times that people take it. Uh, so all in all it takes probably nine years or more to become an engineer from when you start, to become a professional engineer. Uh, you're still an engineer until you pass your exam, you're just considered an engineer intern. It's important to note that there's two different types of engineering schools. Um, you have an engineering technology school and you have an engineering um, school that's accredited by ABET. If you want to become a licensed engineer in a state and uh, be able to stamp drawings, you need to attend an ABET accredited school. Uh, the technology schools, you learn a lot of the same things that you, you would learn in engineering school, but because they're not accredited, you will not be able to uh, take the PE exam. Um, also, ABET is pushing toward a master's degree requirement, uh, I understand, for uh, uh, future students that want to become PEs. Um, I know it's in the works, I don't know what specific details are, but um, I think they're pretty serious about requiring masters for uh, future engineers and it does make it does make quite a bit of sense. There's a lot to know. To, to make it through school you have to you have to be a little technical minded to begin with. You have to uh, be pretty passionate about math and science or at least have a great deal of tolerance for it because uh, you You'll be fully immersed in both. Um, that's probably the thing that weeds people out the most, uh, math and science classes. Um, you know, if you're good in math and that's what you love to do, you know, engineering might be for you, but um, you have to be able to get through some tough classes. You know, the kinds of classes that nobody's good at naturally. Nobody's naturally good at the, those classes. You just have, you have to work hard. That's what it takes. As an intern, you'll wind up doing a lot of things that you didn't learn in school necessarily that per pertain to your trade. Um, things like drafting and uh, you do some menial stuff, but it's not, it's not too bad. It's more along the lines of what you'll be doing. But uh, it's just the things that you don't learn in school. Um, generally, you'll specialize as a civil engineer. Um, whether you do it intentionally or, or not, it'll happen. Um, most civil engineers won't uh, practice all different uh, disciplines, which are, there's geotechnical engineering, which deals with soils. You have structural engineering. You have uh, environmental engineering, water resources, and transportation. Um, when you take your PE exam, you'll actually take a depth exam for one of those concentrations. 
and you'll naturally fall into one of those if you don't pursue it uh, on purpose. Um, it's difficult to learn all five disciplines really well. Um, plus most businesses I think tend to concentrate on, on one or another. The best part about this job for me I think is uh, knowing that I've worked very hard uh, towards something that uh, I feel very useful. Uh, my, my day is very rewarding. I feel that I've created something. Uh, sometimes you get lost working in a, a drawing um, and you forget about the scale. You know, you, you look at something that's very small and you're actually designing something that's actually hundreds of acres. Um, and it's very rewarding to see it built and know that you designed it. Um, there, there's other perks, but for me, those are the, those are the big things. Um, I left another career to do this and uh, those things mean a lot to me to be able to create things um, and use most of them, if not all, my abilities. Worst parts about the job would be stress at times. Um, sometimes you have clients that don't have uh, realistic expectations of, uh, of what it is that you need to do. Um, you often wind up in disputes between clients and contractors and sometimes legal disputes. Uh, I've been called as an expert witness to sit in court um, actually uh, to help resolve a dispute between two other parties. Um, there's, uh, there's a lot of boring time spent reading, reading codes and laws and regulations that I don't really care for all that much. Um, sometimes depending on deadlines you might have to work times that you really didn't want to work um, in order to meet a deadline. For anybody that would want to become an engineer, um, somebody young coming out of high school, uh, suggestions that I could make would be, first of all, make sure it's something that you truly want to do because you're going to need to commit yourself to it um, starting with your freshman year. Uh, a lot of a lot of people will tell you that your first two years of college are all the same, but in engineering, they're, your first two years are not the same as the other degrees. Amongst the engineering disciplines, they're very similar, but you have to be prepared to study a lot starting with your first semester. Um, don't get discouraged. Um, a lot of the classes that you take, nobody is a natural at. You know, the people that get through it are people that work hard, and uh, you know if you if you work hard, you'll do well. Um, doesn't mean you're going to do well on every test or every class, but um, you know you, you may fail something, but you get back up and study harder and get through it. Uh, it's like that for everybody in engineering. Uh, be prepared to give up um, somewhat of a social life. Uh, you won't have as much extra extra time as other students have outside of class. Um, a lot of your time will be spent studying uh, to get through your classes. It gets a little bit easier your junior and senior year, not because the classes get easier. They're every bit as hard as they, they were before, but you kind of get into a, uh, settled into a routine and uh, your study habits get better. They either get better or you change majors. Um, it, it's hard work, but it's, it's a good career. And um, I don't regret it at all. I, I've seen a lot of students that, that uh, switch majors as they're going through through college it's just too difficult for some um, and there's certainly no um, dishonor in doing that that's why I think it's important that you make sure that that's what you truly want to do when you go in so that you're not in a position to switch majors you know if you enjoy math and science and you're willing to commit the time to it then it's a good career but if you're more of a person that wants more of a social life and uh, more hobbies and doesn't want to commit a lot to study time then Engineering is probably not the best uh, career choice.